Okay guys, uh, because this was such an unusual battle and uh, it went exactly the way I wanted it to go uh, with a pretty spectacular result, I thought I would make a video explaining uh, what I'm doing here so that all of you um, that are on Malinovka and are not aware of what a, a decent scout is able to do to your team, uh, this is a warning to essentially uh, get out of the spawn area and keep your distance from a scout operating in the field. Uh, I don't know m how many people do it this way, uh, the way I do it here, but uh, it's very dangerous uh, no matter what tier you're at. Now uh, this uh, Type 64 that I'm driving here, my crew has six skills I'm at 90% on the sixth skill, so essentially uh, six skills are completed. And uh, in World of Tanks, mostly, uh, I would say 95% of the games that I've played, uh, I'm I'm a scout. I like doing a reconnaissance uh, and uh, uh, driving in a in a very precise way to uh, take advantage of the spotting mechanic uh, in the game as it exists right now. So. Uh, I'm going to hit the space bar here in a second and it's going to be running at twice regular speed with the fixed camera on and it periodically I'll pause and I'll explain stuff. So away we go. Uh, prepare to be astonished. Okay, so I go out in the field. I'm checking to see how our people are deployed. That's why I looked back. I light people up. I've not been lit, right? You veer off the moment you get the lights. And since I wasn't lit, I can go back. Still not lit. Lighting people up. And I want to check both flanks. So I go over here. Looking for that STRV. Didn't find him. Still not lit. There he is. So I lit him up. Now I go back to the other side to light those people up. Keeping my distance. Still not seen by anyone. Light those guys up. Then... Light up the STRV again, and I didn't get him. Still not seen. There, I've finally been seen. And the moment you're seen, you maneuver violently to get as far away from them as possible and not get hit. So let's watch that. And they start shooting at me. The arty shells are landing. Uh, with 9.18, with the gigantic splash radius, you have to drive even more crazily in a scout tank than you normally would. Now... Uh, the MT-25 on my other account has been ruined, but the Type 64 can still, uh, if you can maintain your velocity and drive crazy, you should be able to avoid being hit. Okay, so i got to go back here. The E-25 just fell in the water there, and he's going to uh, die. Now i got to get rid of this STRV. He's out of the way. Now I go back to this flank, get the OHO again. And all this time I'm waiting for uh, my sixth sense to go off, right? Now there's a Ferdy and a KV-2. There's the KV-2. AT-7 way back there. And you'll see I'm, I'm only approaching close enough to get the light and I, I veer off, right? And I veer off again. The KV-2 and Ferdy are not currently lit. And this is a mistake. I shouldn't have stopped there. And watch the shells landing all around. There's the KV-2 missed. Shouldn't have done that. Greedy for a kill. Go back, relight those guys. Nothing, nothing. Okay, work on the KV-2. And he's reloaded by now. This is twice normal speed. There's his shell missed. And you'll see I'm, I'm constantly looking around, right? That's really the only way to do it. Now, the KV-2 is still alive. AT-7 is headed for the lake. KV-2 is still not dead. I watch. AT7. KV2. Still alive. Come on, people. There, he's gone. Now, uh, there's three arty in this battle. I love that. Uh, it speeds things along uh, with, with the 9.18 um, uh, update. Uh, they're more potent, I would say, than they were in the past. 
It's different now because their rate of fire is faster. They do more damage per shot. Uh, excuse me, they do less damage per shot. And at this stage of the battle, uh, you can see in the corner down there, uh, I've got 7,000 spotting damage. And because the KV-2 is out of the way, I'm going to pile on the pressure to try to get the rest of it. So let's just watch that. Notice how I'm keeping my distance from those people over there. Now I want to check the corner here. There's the M18. Now, this is my only mistake. I should have driven even more erratically there. I got hit by the M44, but because I have the spall liner, uh, for those of, you that, uh, those of you that don't know this, um, the stun period is reduced if you have the spall liner. So I'm veering off, right? Wait for the lights to go out, then uh, do a different, use a different path using cover. And there's only four vehicles left. One already, the M4A1 is about to die. Boom, he's gone. That already's gone. And I fire a shot. And I actually hit something. So, there you are. Uh, if you have a taste for driving, uh, Malinovka is the best map. Uh, Steps, Redshire, Westfield are pretty good. Uh, El Haluf is good in a similar way. Um, so, like I said at the beginning, um, my main point here is if you stay near the spawn on this map, uh, or even, see, if you look down in the corner there, see where our IS-2, my team's IS-2 is and the E-25, that's even untenable. Uh, my recommendation is that uh, you have to consider that uh, it's much better to uh, take the hill and uh, stay on that reverse slope on the nine line. And then uh, it would be difficult for me to do what I was doing there. Um, but on the other hand, you know, the, in, in battles, uh, you just don't know what, what the scout is going to do on this map. It's, uh, you can win and lose the battle essentially in the first, uh, you know, 90 seconds. In many cases, it's essentially all over, and it's too late to fix it now. I used to think that that was wrong, that there, there shouldn't be a map like that. But on the other hand, uh, people who are learning this game have to be aware of the dangers. And this map uh, gives you, it's like a cold shower, you know, uh, wake up and smell the coffee. You've got to think about what you're doing and protecting your tank, right? That's the number one thing that uh, separates good players from bad players. Uh, bad players don't know how to protect their tank. Good players are very good at that sort of thing and surviving and contributing to a victory. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it's game over. Uh, if that AT7 hadn't drowned himself in the lake, uh, it would have been probably 10,000 spawning damage. Anyways, until next time.